COVID-19 is transmitted like the virus that causes the common cold. It's not likely to be transmitted by food, but rather person to person by contaminated hands that leave virus particles that are picked up by another person. The Alabama Department of Ag and Industries has worked on a set of guidelines that we believe will be the best interest of our markets, their farmers and consumers. These are based on the potential risks associated with COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus, and its impact on health and the economic well-being of our farmers. The next few segments will provide refresher practices and give you some enhanced best practices to have in place to protect you and your customers. Now let's look at some ways that you can protect yourself and your customers. Farmers, vendors, and market staff should wear food grade gloves and change them frequently as soon as they become soiled or contaminated. Make sure that you are washing your hands before putting on a new pair of gloves. Next, you should increase the number of hand washing stations for customers and vendors and also remember to post signs reminding everyone to wash their hands. The picture on the slide shows you an example of a hand washing station that you can make yourself at home if you don't have access to one. Each farmer should have soap, paper towels, and hand wipes such as wet ones and hand sanitizers for their booth. Now there's a difference between hand wipes and disinfectant wipes. Please note that disinfectant wipes such as Clorox or Lysol wipes should not be used on your hands or any surface that will come in contact with the food. Please read the label to make sure that you're following instructions for proper and safe use. You wanna make sure that you limit the customers from handling the produce. One good way to do this is to have all of your foods pre-packaged. To slow down the spread of this virus and other bacteria, limit the customers from touching the product. All foods should be pre-packaged to eliminate potential contamination at the market. Examples would be pre-packing breads and baked goods. Pre-packing all foods will help in this effort. Now how your booth is stocked and positioned can make a big difference in you doing your part to keep things safe. Let's take a look at your farmer's market booth. Is yours ready? Institute six to 10 feet of space between vendor booths where possible. Now if you're unsure about how much space this is, you can simply stretch your arms side to side like an airplane, or you can do six to 10 paces or footsteps toe to toe. The virus has minimum ability to spread in the air. It goes into the air and it settles onto the surfaces. You can also separate, but don't cross contaminate. Separate the duties at your booth, which means the person handling the money should be separate from the person handling the produce. You wanna to try to segregate duties behind the market table so that the virus does not spread through currency. It is a good idea to designate one individual to handle the money, tokens, and coupons while others are handling the produce being sold. Again, wear food grade gloves and change those gloves frequently. So we've been hearing about practice social distancing with the coronavirus, but how does that apply to farmer's market? Well, we need to limit bare hand contact, no shaking hands, and no hugs. Handshakes, hugs, and close distancing while talking to each other is a part of our culture. However, to prevent the spread of this virus, we will have to practice social distancing. So limit your handshakes and hugs because if someone carrying the virus has virus particles on their, their hands, they can transfer that to your hands by direct contact. So please, let's show those appreciation gestures at a distance a nice warm smile can go a long way. It is critical that health and wellness is practiced at all costs. So protect your health and others by following these guidelines. Farmers and vendors who are ill or showing signs of illness should stay home. Incubation of this virus is up to 14 days. So it is quite possible that you may have it, spread it without even knowing it. Send a replacement to sell if you're sick. If anyone within the farm business has been confirmed with COVID-19, notify the manager and remain home. Farmers should be watchful also of signs of ill customers. 
removing all products they may have touched from their sales table. Do not remove them with your bare hands. It is important to postpone those yummy samples. Like I mentioned, doing this will reduce the risk of the virus particles transferring from one surface in person to another. And lastly, as usual, no dogs are allowed at the market. No dogs are allowed at the farmer's market unless they are service dogs as defined as follows. Under the ADA, a service dog is defined as a dog that will have that has been individually trained to do work or perform tasks for an individual with a disability. The task or tasks performed by the dog must be directly related to the person's disability. Emotional support dogs do not qualify. So to sum this up, best practices is the key to healthy food and healthy customers. For more information on the farmer's market operating guidelines during the COVID-19 outbreak, you can visit the Farmers Market Authority at www.fma.alabama.gov or the Alabama Cooperative Extension System at www.aces.edu. Thank you.